how to compress a PowerPoint file. This file has got lots of images in and it also has a four minute long video, which means the file size is quite big. So if I want to send this by email, I'm gonna to have to do some compression before I can send it. So with my video, to compress the video, I click on the file tab and then info, and we've got compress media. The compress media button will only be available if we have a video in our PowerPoint presentation. So at the moment, my file size is 45 megabytes. So I'll click compress media. We'll go for standard. We want to make it as small as possible. And the compression is in progress. That'll just take a couple of seconds. It's working away there and it is nearly done on that compression. OK, so we've saved 15 megabytes. We probably won't see that change immediately because the file has to sync. We'll come back and have a look at that in a moment. So I'll go back to my presentation and let me go to an image. I click on my image and then I have the picture format tab open. So click on the picture format tab and over to the left of center, I have a compress images button. So I click on that button and I've got a couple of options. Apply only to this picture. So you want to make sure that's not ticked. And we also have delete cropped areas of picture. So if we've cropped a picture, if we have that one ticked, it means it will remove the bit we've cropped. So we won't be able to edit that in the future. So I'm going to go for the email option and click OK. And that's going to compress all of the images in my presentation. So I can see that saving. And once that's saved, I can go to the file tab again and back to info. And I can see it's reduced my file size down to just under 13 megabytes. So that's taken it down quite a lot by compressing the uh, media, that means the video file, and also by compressing the images.